Hello Year 9, so I just wanted to give you some feedback on the Kahoot quiz that you did. Uh, good job everyone, we all got most of those questions correct, however there were a few questions that seemed to cause a little bit of trouble. So the first one was, how many hydrogen atoms in a molecule of hydrogen? So a molecule of hydrogen has the formula H2, okay, so the H tells us that we are dealing with hydrogen. And the 2 after the H tells us that there are two hydrogens. So you should have got, uh, the answer was 2. All right. Um, now, all uh, molecules, uh, so the, sorry, there are a lot of common molecules, things like whenever we talk about oxygen, we're talking about O2. If we're talking about uh, nitrogen, so the nitrogen in the air, just like the oxygen in the air, we're talking about N2. And if we're talking about something like chlorine, okay, it'll usually be Cl2. So all of these, there's two atoms of oxygen, two atoms of nitrogen, two atoms of chlorine. Okay, and obviously you can have things that are slightly more complicated. So if you had the molecule C2H4, then we know that there are two carbon atoms and there are four hydrogen atoms okay and you don't really need to worry too much about what these things look like at the moment but if you are interested so hydrogen we would we would write it out as this so we've got two hydrogen atoms and that would be a molecule of hydrogen all right um and then something like chlorine yeah if i had a chlorine gas it would look like this that's a chlorine molecule and there'd be lots of chlorine molecules uh all floating around in the air all right, and something more complicated like this, again, you don't need to worry too much about it, but if you are interested, it would look like this. So that would be a molecule of this thing here, which is actually called ethene. But as you can see, as I've drawn it out, there are two carbons, one, two. That's why there's a two there, and there are one, two, three, four hydrogens. That's why I've got the four there, all right? So you need to remember hydrogen, H2, all right? Next. Uh, a gas is bubbled through lime water and nothing happens. What conclusion can you make? So, bubbling through lime water, that's the test for carbon dioxide. All right, so this test can tell me nothing about oxygen or hydrogen. So anyone that chose the answer, it's definitely oxygen or it's definitely not oxygen, uh, you can't do that because this only tells you whether it is or isn't carbon dioxide. Okay, so if we do the test which is bubbling through water, the result can either be positive or it can be negative. Okay, now if the result is positive, that means that it is CO2. If the result is negative, it means it is not CO2. Okay, and for this test, the positive result is turns cloudy. And the negative result is doesn't turn cloudy. So we uh, we bubble the gas through lime water. Nothing happens. All right. So it doesn't turn cloudy, which is a negative result. So the only conclusion we can make is that this gas definitely isn't carbon dioxide. All right. We can't say that it's another gas because this this test only tells us if it is or isn't carbon dioxide. If the water, if the lime water had gone cloudy, then we would know it's carbon dioxide. It didn't go cloudy, so all we can know is that it isn't carbon dioxide. So you should have chosen definitely isn't carbon dioxide. All right. And the last question that we had a bit of trouble with was this one. When a metal reacts with acid, it gives off steam. True or false? Okay, now, uh, like I said in the, in the video, if we have some acid here, and we put a bit of metal in, it's my metal. We're gonna do the reaction metal plus acid gives us salt plus hydrogen. Okay, so we see these bubbles coming off and you might see some fizzing up here, like in the, uh, the other video that I showed you where the, where the man reacted the uh, metal with the acid, and it was a lot of fizzing. Okay, you might see some something that looks like smoke coming off. All right, 
Now all of these bubbles and all of this coming off, this is all hydrogen gas. It's all hydrogen gas. Okay. Now steam, steam is what you get uh, coming out of the top of your kettle when you boil water. And that is H2O gas. Because remember, when you boil water, liquid water, when you boil H2O, it turns from a liquid to a gas. All right, that's not, there's no water here, there's no water in my equation, so I can't call it steam. So when a metal reacts with acid, it looks like steam is coming off, but it's not. It's hydrogen gas. All right?